what is up Roll gamers welcome back to dprk or stay stay dprk part two now i did have a straw poll vote going on and uh yesterday i did not upload a video because the uh straw poll vote was tied between both stay stay and bruise so i waited another day and finally here today it's saturday and uh it's still a tie between uh, stay stay and ruse while Supremo only has one single vote so you know what I decided to play stay stay Democratic People's Republic of Korea because it's North Korea and anime wives why not it's Saturday it feels good outside it's like 60 degrees and it's cloudy it's gonna be like that for the entire week probably maybe even weekend or weekdays as well so let us continue stay stay and get going with Donald Trump because I am Donald Trump in this game so um, let me just put the music back where it was there we go and we continue the last save bam oh wait what oh okay, there we go okay here we go again as Donald Trump in North Korea who knows what's gonna happen I don't I think Kim Jong-un is still Supreme real supreme leader in North Korea. I'm not sure or maybe it's one of his other siblings or uh, I have no idea if he had a son, you know again. It's around the early 2020s. I think <clears throat> I let out a small stretch after long journey Zhang grabs my hand and starts leading me to the room before me by the way I, Of course I have to voice over as Donald Trump. I'm gonna have to try my best to do uh, my best impression as Donald Trump which isn't really good at, at all. But hey, I try. I at least try. <clears throat> she looks cute even more so for a soldier, but she definitely has a strong grip. I mean, it's not like we don't have women on base, but none of them look like her. Jeez, I forgot to stop thinking like that. It's just a vacation. Don't make it weird. Are you okay, Donald Trump? <laughs> what? Yes, 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 yes. I'm fine. Thank you very much. But your face was so red, I thought you might have caught a fever. Oh no, it was just... Uh, just... Um. <laughs> she finally puts her hand to my forehead. Her hand is so soft, yeah. She's definitely not infantry. She's a reserve, probably. Who knows? I remember the women I saw in infantry. I still have nightmares. She finally is so pretty, though. You are so hot. And you are sweating a little. Are you sure you are okay? I'm sure. I'm sure. Really. I'm just... Tired. From the flight. Yeah, that's it. Tired from the flight. I like how, you know, Donald Trump likes to repeat things. Donald Trump loves to repeat the same phrases over and over, by the way, if you guys didn't know. So, you know, hopefully, in this game as well, I get to repeat a lot of lines, you know. <laughs> Who knows? Thank goodness I was worried. The stores have been out of... Ibuprofen? Ibuprofen? What? Ibuprofen. I don't even know. I'll just say a boop. No, it can't be a boop. No, whatever. Booprofen. For a few days now. I'm just... I'm not sure how we could have treated a fever. Hey, what are you two... When are you two... When you two are done, could you help with the trap or tap? It is stuck again, Zhuang. Let me take care of that for you. This faucet has definitely seen better days. It looks like some of it has started to rust pretty badly. Hopefully the water is clean and safe to drink. Oh, uh, they still gotta get, or they still gotta figure that out. And Flint as well, you know, they haven't figured that out. I can't believe it. Jeez. Budget cuts always hit the guys at the bottom first, I guess. It takes some effort, but after a few tries, water manages to come out. <laughs> I could have done it quicker myself. Jealous much. They show me around their private quarters. Oh, by the way, guys, I have another straw pull vote. You know what? I think I'm, that's what I might start doing, guys. I'm gonna let you guys decide to vote. On what games you guys want to see. I'm going to let you guys decide. Uh, what is on a straw poll more. And vote between Supreme Ruler. Superpower or Ruse. Between those three games for uh, Monday actually. So uh, you know a little more interaction. Between me and you guys. You know on videos. And letting you guys. Vote you know. Voices be heard. By you guys. Well World Gamers. So again it's between. Uh. Ruse, Superpower 2, or Supreme Ruler 2020. 
Uh, I haven't decided what video it'll be, but again, it's between those three games. So you guys can vote on Straw Poll. Link below in the description. And I will do that on Monday. <clears throat> it's not too bad. A couple of bedrooms, a common room, kitchen, and bath. I need to finish preparing a dinner for tonight. Zhuang will show you to your room. Again, Zhuang grabs me by the hand and leads me to my room. Come on, Donald Trump. The bedroom has scant amounts of decoration. Look at that flag. Ah, that's some good ass water. Mm, H2O, baby. And the windows are small, but do let some light in. On the bed is my suitcase, unharmed by the search and seizure ordeal. This will be your room for the week. I'll be staying in the other bedroom with Winji. Inji, Winji, I keep messing that up. I hope you find that room. To, I hope you find the room to your liking. Wait, are you telling me this is normally your room? Yes, but you need a place to sleep. I don't mind staying in Winji's room for the week. Oh, Donald Trump, are you getting dirty thoughts? We can think of it like what your American teenage girls say: a sleepover. I can see Winji's bedroom across the hall. There's just one bed, and it's not big enough for both of them. I can't put you out of your room and have you sleep on the floor why don't I just sleep in the living room how about that do you have a sleeping bag or some extra blankets I can go sleep on the floor in the common room this is not needed you are a guest it will be dishonorable to have you sleep on the floor and make yourself at home but you guys just called me capitalist pig you know come on way to hurt my feelings we should all I don't know I don't think it was them we should have dinner ready soon she smiles and walks out the door, leaving me in her room. I open my suitcase. Everything I had neatly folded has been tossed around and crumpled up. Of course, I can't actually blame the Koreans for that. After all, I went through a couple different airports, including one with TSA security back in the States. Hell, the TSA broke my computer the last time I tried to fly. It looked like they took a hammer to my motherboard. Damn, TSA. And I'm relieved to see my comfy Tokyo Hotel t-shirt is still in the here though, Tokyo, I, it's not Tokyo, it's Tokyo, I slip out of my traveling clothes and toss that on with a pair of jeans, not too long after I smell something fairly decent coming from the kitchen, I decide to head there and see if I can help, oh we're gonna cook some food, both girls are there, Zhuang has changed into more comfortable attire, Oingi is still dressed in her military uniform, Zhuang must have heard me walk in as she turned to greet me, ah hi Donald Trump, dinner isn't quite ready yet look at that outfit what the hell <laughs> a little too much for the chest <laughs> that's okay i thought i might be able to help oh shit i forgot the voiceover damn it see i don't need help from western capitalists who don't know true korean food yeah see look you guys call me capitalist pigs okay i really do need to enter the voiceover <clears throat> as she says that she turns to face me and a shot look across her face what what do you think you were doing? You can't wear that in Korea. You'd be shot on sight. Shot? For wearing blue jeans. I don't think they wear jeans. Yeah, they don't wear jeans in Korea. That's right. Oh, in North Korea, to be exact. No, for advertising the attraction of an enemy state. Zhang doesn't seem too pleased either. Wait, you mean the t-shirt? Fool, of course we mean the t-shirt. What were you thinking advertising a hotel from Japan here in Korea? What? But yeah, see, it's not even Tokyo. It says Tokyo. It doesn't have the Y for Tokyo in there. It has the I-O for Tokyo. I don't know what Tokyo is, but I do know what Tokyo Tokyo is. That's in Japan. But Tokyo? What? Tokyo. Takis? Nokia? What? Are you one of those, those idiots who think all our countries are the same? Japan? Falsely accuses our country of misconduct and hinders our foreign relations. Could it please get a word in? It might be best if you change and give us that shirt. We can burn it so that no one will know you had it. What? Hey! I don't want you to be in trouble with our glorious leader in less than a day. It will also reflect poorly on us, so please change. If you let me explain. I can't believe our inspectors are so careless. It has nothing to do with Japan. They just look so confused now. It's not Japanese. as a teacher for a German rock band. Oh, they are called Tokyo Hotel. Is it really a German band to call that? I'm, I'm not, I don't even know. A couple moments of silence follows before Rinji speaks. Why are you still wearing that abomination? But I just told you it's a German rock band. 
that's not really any better. Germany's not a friend of ours either. Whoa! Whoa! Shots fired on Germany as well now. Oh, these are shots fired across the US, South Korea, Japan, now Germany. Whoa, who's next? It really will be best to take it off and give it to us. Oh, it's alright. I'll go change. No, remove it now. Hand it to Zhuang. We need to, to delete this so no one knows. I can't just put it back in my suitcase. Of course not. What if one of our superiors came and saw it? All three of us will get in trouble. I'll go take it off. Give me a minute. No, take it off here. Okay. Uh oh. I need to be sure you don't try and hide it. Is Inji blushing? Jeez. Turn around first, at least. I remove the shirt and hand it. Zhuang. I go back and put it on my plain white t shirt instead. When I get back, my t shirt is nowhere in sight, and the girls are taking are talking with each other. Thank you so much for changing. There goes that shirt, Tokyo Hotel. A shirt from Germany, a German rock band. It is gone forever. It's gonna be burned in the fire by the so called North Koreans. Thank you so much. Uh, it would have been really awkward if Winji had to remove the shirt by force. But it's best not to do anything that could incur the anger of our glorious leader. Yes, yes. I suppose. But it still sucks that you burned my shirt. That was a gift from my buddy in Germany. In Deutschland. Another military buddy, yes? Is she nice? Well, he seems to be nice. Wait, did you just say she? Come to think of it, I never really did check if my German buddy was a guy or girl either. Is later host an agenda specific gift? As I'm pondering, if I'm gender bent every overseas pen pal I've ever had, the lights flicker and go off. Well, there goes the lights again. What is it with the lights going out like this at the same time every day? Wait, this happens every day? Is this some sort of plan thing? We do not know, but the power does go off a lot. AKA, there's not enough electricity in the DPRK. You know, just like there's not a lot of, not, not enough food. There's not enough electricity as well, you know? <laughs> uh, all they have is, what is it? An army, that's all they have, an army. An army that's very obsolete by the millions. Okay. <clears throat> And usually when the tourists go over there, mostly foreign tourists from uh, Western countries, uh, they use a lot of electricity just to show off their uh, night lights, basically. You know, how much electricity they have at night. So they usually just do that when a lot of Western for uh, foreigners go visit over there. But again, you know, that's not enough power to, uh, <laughs> to power up all of Pyongyang, basically. Not enough power for all the people living there. I think there's like roughly 3 million probably. Around 2 to 3 million people living in Pyongyang. But it's actually a true thing. There's a lot of power that goes off in North Korea and they don't have enough of it. However, there's no, there's one that seems to happen every day at this time. It lasts a while, an hour or more usually. Wow. You mean to tell me you have daily power outages and you can't even set your clocks to them? What in the world could be going on to lose power every day at the same time? Glorious leader has set it to reserve power in case the imperialist force forces attempt to invade further inland towards us so we will have enough power to for, for our bases to withstand the attacks. I'm not certain that makes any sense. Are you questioning the general of the Supreme Commander of Korea? Deflect the topic. Offer an alternative solution. Um... I'll just deflect the top for now. Yeah, well, maybe it's okay to go without power for a while day. You could do something to help pass the time that doesn't involve electricity. Wow, you almost sounded like Glory's leader there. Whoa, I sound like the Glory's leader there. <laughs> he mentioned that purging the need for outside energy sources builds character and allows for deeper spiritual connection with self and others. He recommends yoga for those times. Talking into account what I know of Korea's leader, the last thing I think... I'd see him doing his physical activity. Yeah, I can never imagine Kim Jong Un doing physical activity or even, you know, going out for a jog. Well, I mean, I could imagine him going out for a jog for only a couple, you know, probably half an hour, maybe max, maybe an hour. You can make. It. Uh, I hope North Korea doesn't find out that I do these videos. You know, they, they really might have my head. I've done a bunch of North Korean videos for Supreme Ruler, and uh, now. I'm doing one for an anime game based 
in the DPRK. So, you know, if ever any uh, North Korean is watching my videos, then they will certainly have put me on the notice list if I ever do visit over there or whatnot, you know. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next decades or so. Because I am trying to visit the DMZ in uh, South Korea. And hopefully in North Korea if I can as well. Alright, uh, in fact, I think I just put a mental image in my head that will never be erased. Leader of Korea plus yoga outfit equals vomit inducer. That's Gloria's leader to you, Yankee. She called me a Yank! Well, I mean, we are called Yanks and a lot of people do call us Yanks. Especially in, I guess, when we play soccer matches between other countries. Especially against England. Uh, you know, we're called Yanks. The Yanks. Yeah, the Yanks. And it appears NG has developed the power of reading my thoughts. And does your glorious leader do yoga himself? Of course, he has been known to lead the entire army in morning yoga. He even invented his own style of yoga based on rare creatures. I think he called it Mi Pika Auth Chu Yoga, or Wild Cat and Mouse Combined in English. Have you done his yoga classes? Why yes, he provided us all with special yoga clothing. And he will inspect our form from the back of the room while instructing. Well, I can't follow him. Yoga pants are gifted, are gifted to mankind, except when Gunny bought a pair. God, there's another image burning in my brain. So what do we do while we wait for the electricity to come back on? I mean, I guess we could all just take a nap. You have group napping in the United States? <laughs> not really. Well, not at least after kindergarten. I already really know this a few times. But I just meant it is a way to pass the time, not as group activity. We are missing some of the ingredients for the kimchi. We could walk to the local market and see if there's any there to pick up. Unless you're, you prefer under-seasoned kim kimchi. I do know most Americans are not accustomed to eating spicier foods. Uh, yeah, that's me. I don't really. Uh, one thing you guys don't know about me. I cannot eat spicy foods. I suck at trying even the littlest of spiciest foods. Anything spicy, anything that burns, I cannot eat or consume. And it sucks and I hate it and, you know. I mean, I do. I have tried it a few times before, but it was, it was horrible, and I will never do it ever again. So you know, spicy food I can't handle at all. They clearly do not teach you about Tex-Mex or Cajun cuisine, do they? Of course not. American cuisine is an abomination. Flavorless, colorless, lifeless, all proceed as speedy slop joints. Oh, Inji, you're gonna both both of them are gonna be you know I'm gonna take them to America. Watch, it's gonna happen. Donald Trump is gonna take them to the states and show them real democracy. Good old USA, Uncle Sam's United States of America. Watch, it's gonna happen. Watch, like King Donald's. It's amongst the most inferior cooking in the world. King's King's Donald. What? Wait, go back. Oh no, what I do? How do I go back, man? Aw. King Donald? Hmm. I really don't feel like correcting your myo myo myopic view of American food. Let's all just go get the greens you need. Yes, let's all get along. We're all friends here. And there's a bit of walk to the market to get what we need. We're walking? I figure we ride into see no Korea, hear no Korea, speak no Korea, mobile again. Why the attitude? You're in the military, you know we can't really allow foreigners to see direct routes between points. But walking from our barracks to a market gains you no know, useful information. He does have, what do Westerners call it? Spunk? Yes, I think that's it. But come on, let's go get what Inji needs. She grabs my hand and I climb up again. I can't say I'm happy, but I'm not great with girls. But it doesn't seem Zhuang has a problem with grasping my hand. Maybe she's unaware of what holding hands means. But I'm not surprised since this is the third time she's done it. What is surprising is that I feel my other hand being grabbed. I turn to that side and I see Inji has claimed that hand for my, for herself. Oh no, it's either trying to, you know, protect me or defend me, you know, from other Koreans, you know. Uh, just trying to watch me because, again, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yank. I'm a capitalist American, you know, they're just trying to watch me, you know, if I do something stupid. Or, she's just jealous. <laughs> Inji's just jealous right now of Zhuang. That could be it. She knows I've seen her and she blushes. Don't don't get me wrong or anything. 
I'm not doing that is because I want to. I just want to make sure you don't go running off. We could get in trouble if you were found walking around without a guy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, yep. I understand, Inji. So I'm just just leading you. Don't make anything out of it, okay? It will appear Inji, on the other hand, is fully aware of what holding hands can mean. Thanks for looking out for me. I roll my eyes when she's not looking. Stop saying weird things like that. I told you I'm just making sure you don't get lost. They both head out the door with me in tow. Alright, we're going out to the market. About 20 million later, we're outside of a small market. What I've noticed is that we aren't really in the city. More like the outskirts of Pyongyang, I guess. We aren't actually in Pyongyang, or oh, we're not actually in Pyongyang, are we? Nope, our barracks are on the outside of the city proper. We'll be going in to visit instead of staying in the city. I thought all visitors were supposed to be in the city. I already told you the glorious leader made an exception for you. Now let's hurry up and go in. I like it how they black out everything when I'm outside, like just not trying to show anything outside of any store or you know hotel or even car ride they black it out so they can't show me the routes or the the background of of uh what is it pyongyang it was pretty smart i must say as we walk in the shopkeeper quickly turns away as he sees me oh they don't like me we start looking around for what engine needs to finish the kimchi she had mentioned green onions to me so i made a beeline for the produce Look at how well stocked the store is. Once. The store is well stocked because of foreigners here. We should have no problem getting what you need, Inji. Korean stores are always so full of delicious and lovingly grown produce. Something seemed off there. Joanne hasn't been more casual with how she talks. That last line seemed forced. I kind of I kind of felt that too. It was forced. And I think I know why as I find the produce. A cursor glance would only give you the impression of having a well-stocked stand of vegetables. Upon closer inspection, though, plastic. What are you muttering over there? Half of this food isn't real. <laughs> isn't real. It reminds me of a. Uh, oh, what's that movie? Oh man. Um, a dictator. No, I wasn't the dictator. Dang it! I can't believe I forgot already. Uh, it had Seth Rogen in North Korea with, uh, geez, I can't believe I forgot the movie. You guys know what I'm talking about, but it was based in North Korea, or, uh, they went to North Korea, and they be, they, what is it, they became friends with, uh, Kim Jong-un there. But, uh, yeah, the food was plastic when they, uh, when, uh, one of them picked it up. <laughs> Probably is in real life as well, who knows? Half of this food isn't real. I mean, this radish right here is too shiny. I really don't think the FBD, FDA has a recommended daily allowance of plastic. They don't seem to be listening to me much, and they continue looking for ingredients. Looking at the wall there, where the canned foods are giving a similar impression. A close inspection is all it takes to see what it is. The shelves over there don't even look like there's real food on them. I've seen better artwork in a no-budget visual novel, where developers skimp on paying artists. <laughs> She's gonna say something. Joanne walks over to me with a worried look. We're almost done, please. Please don't say anything else. This is something that you do not understand speaking on it. It's no good. No good? Fine, I'll be a good little soldier. It's nut up or shut up for now, I guess. Joanne smiles at that, though it's tough to tell if it's a smile of relief or nervousness. Angel walks over to us. Hey, I left my wallet back at the house. Did you bring yours, Joanne? No, I thought you had your. Oh shit, we forgot. Or oh, they forgot the wallets. Don't worry, Donald Trump has millions in loans, okay? I think, or uh, billions in loans now. One of us will have to go back and get the money. Wait, it's okay. I brought my wallet. Don't say it's a capitalist wallet with capitalist money. But we never did exchange any of them in cash for one. Will he be okay with American dollars? Yes, though I think the shop here prefers euros, he'll still take American money. Oh, well, I mean, hey, euros, okay. Give me your wallet and I'll go pay. Well, I, well, I have to give the whole entire wallet to you? What? I can just hand you some of the bills. I heard my wallet and she walks back to the shopkeeper. She comes back and I check the billfold area. Doesn't appear to be too ravaged. A buck fifty can barely buy a soda on base. Fresh produce is basically unheard of. Hell, even the plastic food looks better than some of the stuff I've had on base. 
Well, with this settled, let's go back to the barracks. Oh, we're done here. That was quick. Okay. Oh, have a look at Fraps is you know just messing up right now, and the timer's done. Twenty minutes later, we're back at their barracks. The power is back on, and Angie gets right to work finishing the kimchi. Zhuang has turned on the radio. Wow, Fraps is messing up. It's going down to like 5, 11 FPS. Really? Even in a visual novel game, an anime game like this? Are you kidding me? Thank you f for tuning into One Korea One Voice. Here's today's top story: the radio. But I think this is where I'll end part two of Stay Stay Democratic People's Republic of Korea, starring Donald Trump, Zhuang, and Angie in this amazing, mysterious, scary adventure <laughs> in Pyongyang, in the outskirts of Pyongyang. Uh, again, guys, you can vote on Straw Poll on what game you want to see for Monday, but Super Power 2 or Supreme Ruler 2020. Link below to vote. As always, Rebel Gamers, subscribe, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. I just can't wait to play more Stay Stay. Alright, later guys. By the way guys, before I leave, actually I forgot to show you guys something. Every time you try to save the game, actually, it says replace these documents with an updated government approval replica. I'll do that. And then the best part, escape. If it loads up, Fraps is messing up right now. One does not simply escape from, with parentheses, escape from best Korea. Still wanted to deflect to the desktop. They're threatening you. This game is trying to threaten you from leaving best Korea. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. Uh, very neat. Alright guys, just wanted to show you guys that. Alright.